The rounded rectangle tool has two drawing modes, the first of which is corner to corner mode. This is the default mode for the tool, where you click once to set one corner of the rectangle, then again in another location to set its opposite corner. In rotated mode, the second mode, the first two clicks set the direction of one edge of the rectangle, then the third click sets its width or height away from this first drawn edge. The rounded rectangle tool is very similar to the rectangle tool in function, with a key difference. Its corners are controlled via a radius value. This radius for the corners can both be controlled precisely via the object info palette or the preferences button in the toolbar. Similar to the rectangle tool, the object's rotation can be controlled manually within the object info palette. Another difference between this and a regular rectangle is the additional control point floating atop the rectangle's surface. This control point can be moved manually, with immediate visual feedback appearing on screen of the changes you're making to the corners. Additional settings can be found in the Rounded Rectangle Preferences dialog box, accessed via the Preferences button in the toolbar. In this dialog, you can control how the corners appear with the Corner Styles group. Each of a rounded rectangle's corners is actually two corners, where arcs begin and then meet tangentially at the corner. Symmetrical corners will have the same diameter for both the X and the Y diameters of the corner. Proportional corners will scale themselves directly based on the length and width of the rounded rectangle itself. Unconstrained means you can move freely the X and Y arcs independently when the corner style is unconstrained by either the symmetrical or proportional setting. The rounded rectangle tool allows for the creation of this commonly used shape quickly and easily.